Hi, in this video I want to talk about what is a primer dimer. This is going to be my fourth video about how to design primers. And uh, just in two words, primer dimer is a nightmare of the genetic engineer or molecular biologist. Because if you get a primer dimer, when you poorly design your primer, you will totally waste your uh, experiment. And imagine, uh, for example, if uh, you got a sample of the blood from the crime scene and you just were able to extract DNA from the few white blood cells and from those samples um, in order, for example, to find if it is blood of the victim or of the suspect and uh, you want to find out if it is female or male bloods and uh, this is very easily to find uh, using PCR method because uh, on the X chromosome and Y chromosome homologous regions present for example there are um, one uh, protein coding sequence uh, that code for the uh, protein uh, of NML and at the intron 1 uh, female has a small deletion and on the Y chromosome there is not such deletion and if we uh, design primer for this uh, particular region uh, and uh, we will multiply uh, this region millions of times and then we'll run uh, uh, PC, uh, then we run uh, a gel uh, if we have uh, female samples so this is going to be XX chromosome then we uh, would have only one strip and if this is going to be a sample of the man we would have uh, two strips because uh, these two molecules multiplied molecules uh, would separate because one would be smaller and another one uh, bigger. So uh, here is an uh, example of this case. Just imagine that this is uh, double-stranded DNA and we design it to primers to amplify this DNA. Imagine that this is uh, intron number one of the NML and uh, we designed this uh, primers according to the um, rules that I explained it before, but uh, we didn't check it for the primer dimer uh, formation. So what this basically means? So let me first show um, that this is going to be five prime end here of the um, our primer, and here is going to be. 3 prime end and respectfully 5 prime end here and 3 prime end here and new DNA strand would grow always in the 5 to 3 direction so this is a direction uh, to which new strand would grow and um, just imagine such situation if we design this uh, primers poorly, uh, such primers would have uh, at the three prime end some sequence that would be complementary to each other. So, just for the sake of the uh, simplicity, I would call this uh, primer number one, and this primer would be number two. Of course, they have their own names like sense primer and anti sense primer, uh, but I won't explain today uh, because I don't want to make long video. I want to keep this video short and just talk about what is a primer dimer is. And um, so we just call primer number one and primer number two. So imagine that. Uh, I just make this primers bigger here 
and imagine that this is going to be primer number two and this is primer number one at, at the three prime ends such primers have uh, uh, regions that is complementary to each other and for example here is going to be A, T, C and G and on the other primer number one we will have C and G and A and T here. So of course these two primers would anneal and polymerase would extend them. Um, both uh, primers uh, would be extended and for example if this fragment is uh, for example 20 base pairs and four bases uh, were complementary so this fragment would be 16 base pairs so total uh, new strength of uh, DNA would be uh, 30 six base pairs and uh, of course we start our PCR with uh, millions and billions of uh, primers of the primers number one and billions of the primers number two so or primer number one on the left, primer number two on uh, primer one, number one on the left, primer number two on the right. So uh, basically instead of amplifying our uh, DNA of our interest, these two uh, primers would anneal to each other and form such structure and just in after one or two cycles they would uh, use all our uh, bases in our solution and we will have very few uh, of this product and uh, a lot of this product and if we run PCR for example this is going to be a gel and if we load such sample after such uh, PCR instead of ex we expect uh, to get uh, long strand DNA like maybe hundreds of uh, base pairs or thousands that's going to be somewhere over here if it is going to be plus end and this is negative uh, end negative charge so we expect our product to be somewhere over here so this is going to be a uh, long strand of the DNA but instead we're getting our product that is somewhere over here that is only 36 base pairs and this is this product that we uh, got from the primer dimer formation and we basically wouldn't be able to see uh, this product at all so we just would be able to see only uh, our primer dimer and uh, this is not the only one possibility when primer dimer would form and this type of primer dimer is called uh, hetero primer dimer because uh, two uh, primers would anneal at the three ends and we also may have a situation of the homo primer dimer and this basically means that we may have uh, say for example primer number two that would be self complementary and how this might happen just imagine such sequence as C T C T and this sequence would be uh, complementary so this T would be T on this end and then C and this also would be complementary to the T and then T would be complementary to the C and C again so this is the same primer 
for example primary number two or it can be primary number one and uh, if at the end of this three end it's going to have such sequence that would be self-complementary just imagine this is the same primer we just flip it over so once again uh, situation that I describe above would repeat and we will get uh, one um, homo primer dimer that is 36 uh, base pairs if our uh, primer 20 base pairs so this product would be 36 base pairs and we will also ruin our uh, sample we would uh, we wouldn't go get our any uh, results expected but we just instead will get uh, stripe that uh, going to be short and close to the um, uh, positive uh, end of the gel so uh, this is uh, something we have to avoid so we have to check last uh, three four five uh, base pairs at the three prime ends of each uh, primer to avoid uh, such situations uh, you can do it manually but better if you do it running special programs computer programs that help to avoid such situations so if you want to know about the other rules you may watch uh, my other videos just search my channel how to design primers thank you for attention this is all for today please subscribe to my channel new videos uh, every day goodbye